Hey guys, Dom here. So today I want to order my seeds for the 2021 season. I am a bit late. Usually I like to order like early January, even early February. We're now March 1st today, but with a small baby at home, this is as fast as I could get organized and get my list done in order to figure out what seeds I want to grow this year in my garden. So I have huge plans this year for my garden. I want to increase my uh, self-sustainability and I want to do a lot of canning and try and fill up my root cellar as much as possible. So for today's video I thought I would walk you through uh, my seed order and I'm going to be ordering most of my seeds from Vessies. They are a Canadian company from Prince Edward Island. I've been ordering from them for three to four years now and I really love their seeds. I always have awesome success with them. So here we go. All right, so first up on my list are red kidney beans. So I think if I put in just the item number, they'll come up. Yeah, so red kidney beans. I have a dehydrator at home and I haven't used it all that much just because I haven't had time. So I thought if I get some kidney beans, I could try my dehydrator with it. Okay, so next up, green beans. And I also tested blanching my green beans for the freezer and not blanching them, just throwing them in the freezer directly. And there is a huge difference. So I would definitely recommend blanching. The taste was really off by not blanching them first. So I always pick untreated seeds. And then this year, every year, I always pick um, seeds to kind of challenge myself. So this year I've picked broccoli. And last year when I was visiting my sister-in-law's family, her parents, her mom grew some broccoli and she made a homemade broccoli salad and it was so good. So hopefully my broccoli broccoli will grow. I am going to order a net to put over it just to protect it from bugs. All right, so this cabbage, it looks so funny, but in the past, like three years ago, I had ordered a cabbage mix and this is the cabbage that grew the best for me. I just loved it. I loved the shape. I loved the look. I loved, I just loved everything about it. So I'm ordering it again. And we really love cabbage rolls and that kind of thing. So I'm super excited. And now that at our new house, we have a root cellar, I'm really going to try experimenting this year with um, trying to keep vegetables long term in my root cellar. All right, so this is another vegetable that I want to challenge myself with this year is growing cauliflower. So again, I'm going to be ordering like a big net and hopefully I can, hopefully I can do this. <laughs> We'll see if anyone has any tips on growing broccoli cauliflower let me know in the comments below I'm really interested I really want to be successful in my garden this year all right so espresso corn um Maybe three, four years ago now, I had grown corn for the first time. I was always told that growing corn was super difficult, but I had really good success. The only thing I did wrong was not plant enough corn. So some of the um, rows in the corn had skipped, like the kernels hadn't developed fully, but it was still super good. And I was so impressed with myself that I could actually grow corn.
All right, so cucumbers, we are huge um, pickle lovers. I love snacking on cucumbers during the summer. I did go through my seeds from the previous years. I still have quite a few cucumber seeds left, so I'm not going to be ordering a whole lot of cucumbers this year just because I have some seeds that I need to use up. Okay, and then this lettuce was just speaking to me when I was looking at the catalog. It looks so fun, and I've never grown head lettuce before, so hopefully this works. I thought it would be fun to try. So next up is watermelon a few years back and if you go down below in the description you'll see my video about the watermelon that i grew for the very first time i was so impressed it was such a big watermelon and again i didn't know i could grow watermelon in my area because i'm in zone three so it was just incredible to me that i could grow watermelon so at two dollars i thought why not i'll order some seeds i'll plant it here and we'll see what happens a lot of it um, a lot of my gardening for me is just fly by the seat of my pants. If it works, it works great. All right, so for the onions, I always order onion sets because our growing season is sh so short here. So this is what I like to plant. I've planted this specific kind of onions um like three years now and i always have really good success with them and they keep long term in storage mind you previous years i didn't even have a root cellar and they did really well back then so this year having a root cellar should be even better All right, and then I thought, why not? Let's plant some red onions as well. It's fun, it's good for salads, why not? Okay, now we're getting into potatoes. So we are huge potato lovers here. Um, so I thought these were super fun. And I like that the skins are, they don't have any dimples. They're like really, you know, smooth um, or eyes, I guess I should say. So I'm going to be ordering a three pound, yeah, a three pound pack of these ones. There we go. Okay. And now, um... I've talked about this a little bit, but this summer I plan on building a chicken coop and getting some Chanticleer chickens. So those are a breed of chickens that are super hardy, um, so good for our Canadian climate. And they were actually bred um, in Quebec, Canada. So for the chickens, I'm thinking of growing pumpkins. I can feed them the pumpkins. And also because I have a little one now, we can carve pumpkins for Halloween. So why not? These are only $2. Might as well. And pumpkins are just kind of, I don't know, you plant them, you let it do, you let them do their thing and and I have a perfect spot to put them. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so I saw these tomatoes in the catalog. I love that they're round. I do a lot of canning and um, in the past I used to really loved rib tomatoes just because I like the look of them. But when it comes to canning, juicing them, peeling them for diced tomatoes, it's a lot of work, the rib tomatoes. So I'm picking these ones because they're round, they're gonna be simple to peel and they're cheap. 
And also in my seeds that I already have, I already have a lot of tomatoes I need to use up. So I'm only ordering this one kind of tomato for this year. And I'm still gonna have a ton of tomatoes in my garden. Okay, so that's everything for the vegetables. So this year, um, for 2021, my garden goals also include adding flowers to my garden. So the first one is actually a herb, summer savory. My neighbor a few years ago had given me summer savory and it's so good to put in roasts and whatnot. And also I have the goal of using my dehydrator a lot more so I can dehydrate my summer savory to use throughout the winter. All right, so calendula, I have been doing some reading. A lot of flowers are good to deter certain types of pests in the garden. So that's what I wanna to try to do this year is incorporate flowers in my garden. So that was kind of my logic and my thinking with picking these types of flowers. So marigolds, oh no, it's out of stock. Okay, let's go pick some different marigolds. I am ordering a little bit late, so I'm surprised that so far most of my choices have been, um, have been okay. $3. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. Next up, nasturtiums. So again, I was just reading about all the wonderful um, benefits and properties of adding flowers to your garden. So I picked these ones, they're so pretty. Oh no, those are out of stock too. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go pick some other ones. Okay, these are available. Let's go with these. Okay, and then these sunflowers, we are on a well here. We actually have two wells, but our one well is a natural spring well, I guess you could call it. And um, right now there's like this weird bushy plant growing around it. And so I want to replace the plants with some nice sunflowers. I think that would be so cute. So that's why I'm ordering these guys. I have so many projects this summer. My YouTube channel is just going to be filled with some beautiful flowers and gardenings and plans that I have for this place. I'm excited. All right, so I really want to grow gigantic sunflowers. I've been wanting to do this for so long, so why not? Did I mention that I got a gift certificate and that's why I can spend all this money? <laughs> okay, and now I have the netting here, so. I don't really know like Yep, they are all out of stock right now. I guess I'll have to look somewhere else for that. Anyways, what I was going to say is that I've never 
ordered netting before i don't really know what is best what i should be looking for if anyone has any tips let me know in the comments all right guys so this is my 2021 seed list for this year from vessies i haven't decided yet if i'm going to be ordering from other canadian seed companies but i think next week i'm going to do a video on my best canadian seed companies that i've ordered from in the past so make sure to subscribe i have huge plans for my garden this year and i really hope that you will follow me along and join so remember to subscribe all right guys see you next week